Alrighty, welcome everyone. I'm Tibu, and I'm here today with something weird. Um, something really rather strange. First of all, it's Thursday morning, and I'm I'm like endlessly refreshing the Karakuri Circus page on Amazon Prime, as well as the one on Nya. Because it's not up! Previously, they've been up at 8 a.m. sharp, and it's not up! So, that's sad, but I have heard, to my great surprise, to my extreme surprise, to my extraordinary surprise, that maybe, just maybe, just maybe, Season 3 of SAO might be worth watching. Now, I was planning to watch it anyway, eventually, just because it's a thing that you kind of just have to keep up with, because it's a thing, and people talk about it, it's a thing. But somebody whose opinion that I trust, to an extent, put SAO Alicization, I think that's how you pronounce it, I don't really know, at the top of their list of anime for this season. At the top. And this is this is not somebody who is an, an SAO fan person. But they put it at the top of their list. I would normally not give it a second thought. I wouldn't even give it a glance until it was all aired and then I was looking for something to to watch and then I would binge it and and would be a thing. But. Bottle. I have heard that it might be worth watching. And so, I'm going to watch it. That is all. If it is actually good, I have no idea where I could fit it into my schedule. No clue. Um, schedule's just too packed. Too full. I mean, if it's if it's good enough, I would replace Goblin Slayer with it. I doubt that will happen. I did get all of Batum done, but Friday is packed with Baki Jojos, and those both need uh, significant time to to edit and and get out properly. So... Basically, I don't know where I would even consider putting it. I don't really think I have time. This first episode is 45 minutes long, which is long. It's uh actually it's forty seven minutes long, so forty forty four with OPED, assuming that they're in here. It's a it's a two part. Let's see what the hell this actually is. I don't know. I mean, it's not. We're just ignoring Gun Gale, and we're ignoring, like, the one with the pink girl alternative. I think. I think this is just a direct continuation of the main series. Kirito, Asuna, Yugi, all the, all, all the peeps. It's a thing. It exists. There are three episodes out. I'm gonna watch the first one. I'm gonna see if it can hook me. I will be surprised if it can. I'm going into this cynical. If you want a gung-ho reaction, go somewhere else. I'm going into this cynical as fuck. This is SAO. I'm cynical about SAO. 
I said something in in Goblin Slayer episode three reaction that pissed a couple of you off. Lost a couple of subs for it. Fine. Sao is quite similar to Goblin Slayer in it from from my perspective. Not saying that they're similar shows that that the content is similar or anything like that. I'm saying that they are similar in that they are machines. They are mechanistic. They are automatic. They are business driven, primarily. There, there's not much love in them. Now, all anime, and I said this and I lost subs for it, but it's the truth, all anime is business. Every anime series that is based on a manga is a product. Original anime series are also a business. They are a product. However, there's a bit more artistry there usually. But the way that the Japanese system works is if your thing is proven as a manga or a light novel, it gets an anim anime adaptation so that it can reach more viewers and because it's proven. Right? That's, that's the thing. It's proven already. You've proved yourself. We're going to adapt this. Boom. We can make a ton of money off of it. It's very different from the way that, that American animation and general TV and everything works. We, we just, you know, we've got screenwriters and we, we write shows and then they put tons of money into them and they either fail or they sink or swim. In Japan, that all happens at the Shonen Jump stage, at the, the does your manga get published stage, does your Tonkabon get published stage, does it see readership, does it vote high in polls? If so, adaptation will be forthcoming. Uh, for example, I think in the next year and a half or so, we will get an adaptation of, oh, what's it called? It's the mm, uh, manga future stone uh, science. Dr. Stone, there we go, of Dr. Stone. Dr. Stone being on chapter 57 and frequently uh, hitting, hitting the top of the Shonen Jump whole things. We'll get an adaptation of it, guaranteed. I guarantee it, there will be an adaptation of Dr. Stone forthcoming. That's, it's how they do it. It's a filtering process. And it's, it's part of why there's so much good stuff. Because the big name shows are a big name because they were already big name. But it is a machine. It is a machine that takes the things that are popular and makes them into more things that cost more money to make and bring more money in. But they don't put that money toward things unless they know that they can make it back. Goblin Slayer, episode one, was marketing. SAO, episode one, original SAO, episode one, was marketing. It was Isekai setup. It was done to a T. It was hook. And it caught a lot of us. A lot of us, self-included. But it was marketing. And eventually that showed through. What will happen now? I don't know. I am cynical. I am probably going to look at this more from a business perspective. What are they trying to accomplish as a product? What are they trying to accomplish? And the answer is, of course, to continue the SAO money-making machine. It's a franchise. But it has been recommended. It boggles my mind. So maybe, just maybe, there's something here. Just maybe there's something to it. Let's find out. I'm going to push the button. I assume that I will have to timer base this, this thing. I don't know.
to 40, 47 minutes. But, um, I assume I'll have to timer base this. We'll see. Uh, before I even start, let me check Karakuri again, because if it's out, I'm not even going to watch this. Gah! Where's my Karakuri? So, Sword Art Online Season 3 Episode 1, aka Sword Art Online Alicization. I don't know what's going to happen. Doesn't matter, let's push the button and find out. I assume it'll be timer-based. I'll put the beep beep timer here. Uh, uh, mm. I assume it'll have to be timer-based. I will put in a beep beep timer. It'll go boop 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 beep. Uh, red, yellow, yellow, green. The green light is frame accurate, crunchy roll playing. There will also be a, a negative five to zero countdown before the timer actually starts and then zero onward. Yeah. Um, so let's get into it. Timer goes here. Okay, there's that classic theme. In what world? Animation is good. It's different. Stylized. Got a flat, flat um, color grade. Interesting. Quality on the eyes. Quality on the light effects. Okay. A little overuse of um, like lens lens rays. That's okay. They're under a tree, so it makes sense. Why are they kids? It's our calling. Capital C calling. Okay, so we're in Digiverse. Is this a total reset? This is mildly homoerotic. Shippers going wild. Yeah, that's a little bit more than mildly homoerotic. This is Babi Asana. It's Alice. Is this a real world of sorts? What the fuck is this? It is a digiverse. <coughs> the S pattern that they draw is interesting. But are, are they humans in VR of sorts?
because cold inhibits bacterial growth. You gonna invent a refrigerator? Axiom Church Integrity. Top of mountain. Yikes. Encoding overloaded. So much exposition. So much exposition. Wow. Are you going to sign out? No. You So are they digital entities? Simulated reality? It's possible. Star.
A lot of emphasis on that scene. Music shifting. They are. They, these are evolved, evolved creatures in a digital universe. Somebody got their hands on all the player data from SAO and the previous ones, created a simulation, and let it be. Ice. What's in front of you, though? They're on the other side. Not the other side. This looks like a boss room. that that's his sword just a much larger version My
Where's the exit? They're gonna find their way all the way through. And there's, it's gonna be some kind of secret. Like they're in this, this isolated village place. They should have, yeah, they're, no, they should have just followed the river. Good scene of first person perspective. As soon as you get out though, Integrity Night pops open, or pops in. Hello, you're in the dark place. Went the wrong way. Okay. Okay, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Don't cross the boundary. Oh, she trips? Nope. Okay. Um, call back to Saki. Fingertips over the line. Ooh, that CG shot. That was good. the cave closed system system has you as digital entities you have to follow the rules they are digital entities So, something's gonna happen to Alice, and they're gonna try to save her from whatever's happening to her.
Inquisition, essentially. So they, they're probably digital law keepers. Whoa. You can't lie. Digital rules are absolute. You didn't cross the boundary. One pixel off, man. Nope, time froze. System alert. So the quest will be to get her back. He awakens as Kirito. How long has he been in? And by whose vote, who's put him in there? What is this world? Okay, so Gun Gale. So what is it, a full immersion sim? Like true full immersion, forget that you're Human in VR. Silica, Kinon, Kirito, all the crew. Excellent animation. Whoa, okay. Neato burrito.
Showing us all the crew. Okay. Okay. And Kirito. Okay. That was pretty cool. There's a lot of money put into this. A lot. Immense amounts of money. Of course, they've made immense amounts of, amounts of money, and they're going to make immense more. Amounts of more, so... It's to be expected. Still quite a spectacle. Back, back, okay. Did you see that guy? CG pool. Have their training.
Bite me. Oh. Interesting. So what's your job? Your job is the alicization world, isn't it? They're doing stuff that you don't know about. It's a full BMI. Through the looking glass. So he remembers nothing outside of it. So he's living a, a full life there. Soul Translator. It's 
It's an emergent property. Okay. This is pseudoscience, but okay. Time compression. Yeah, because you're not bound by time. So it could be months. But is it actually using up your lifespan? Probably. Right, Alice in Wonderland. She is based on Alice. Yeah, it's buried in his soul. Interesting. Threshold. I feel like the end of the episode will be him realizing he's becoming distant. It's affecting him.
I want you to come with me? Yeah. Cute. Cute. BMI. He's, he's his uh, friend from the thing. No, he's the guy from, from B.O.B. real yeah you don't have a sword but he's got a knife i'm sure yeah they're showing him he's gonna use his umbrella show him with his hand in his pocket this guy's nuts Don't bet. Pushes her back. Wow, shoves her back. Stab with umbrella. He got him. So he's poisoned. Limited time to live, put him in the machine. I'm sure this is the OP. Could be the ED.
That was a pretty cool little secret handshake. Well, that was good. Pains me to say it, but that was good. It was actually good. The setup is about uh, about a dozen times better than any previous SAO. The animation quality is increased proportional to its success, which makes sense. I am about a quarter as cynical as I was going in. This is good. I, I'm saying that, like, this This is good. Um, this is episode one. It is the pilot. It could fall off. But the setup is good enough that it might not. It really might not. This isn't a rehash. This is good. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. The, the whole... The whole... Enter the first half in Alice World was well done and the mystery was the mystery intention was real. The setup that this is a true BMI next gen technology and it is direct soul integration. I mean it's pseudoscience, but it has its basis. Um has its basis as far as we know time is only constrained by or our perception of time is only constrained by how fast we can take in sensory input so we have to take in a full spectrum of sensory input full touch full full taste full smell full sight full audio at the same time uh and there's only so much we can process so if there is some core thing pseudoscience blah 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 fuck light blah 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 then if you can feed sensory input directly to it through machine through a BMI brain machine interface, which is real theoretic, real theoretical technology. Um, there's no reason that time would be constrained to what we what we perceive as time. The through the looking glass parallels are interesting. The again the animation is quite good. Um, not a ton of symbolism, but enough. Showing the, the threshold of uh, Agil's shop at, at the end as What's-Her-Face steps out was interesting. It was a parallel to the threshold that, that Alice crosses. But this simulation is uh, very obviously being done for a purpose. So we're going to be seeing what that purpose is and finding it out along with Kirito. There's some actual characterization for Kirito. Like a little bit, it's, it's there. Um, this was good, surprisingly good. Surprisingly good. I might have to add it to my lineup somewhere. It airs on Saturdays. There's no way I can watch it on Saturdays. I don't think. Uh, although, let me look at my schedule. Saturday is Goblin Slayer and Gridman. I might. I very well might add it to my Saturday. Um, a comic I kill is, is slipping off, so I'll probably release what I've got of it and then just like, I don't really care that much about it. This is good. There are three episodes out. We'll see if they continue to be worth watching. I'm intrigued. I wouldn't say that I'm in, but I'm definitely intrigued. And I'll watch the next couple episodes for sure. I'll give it a shot. I'm terribly surprised. 
terribly surprised. This is actually good. We'll see. We'll see if it keeps up. We'll see if this was just pilot. Just money in the pilot. It's possible. But there's so much money available to, to this franchise that, like, they can throw whatever they want at it. A1 can throw whatever they want at it. Katakawa can throw whatever they want at it. Uh, because it is a Katakawa thing, I will definitely have to timer it. Because Katakawa smacks on copyright. They just slap stuff. And uh, this is not worth putting in the time to edit highlights for. Definitely not. It's not Karakuri. It's not, um, it's not Baki. But it's worth watching, I think. So I'm going to fit it in. At least for a little while. And if I drop it, then I'll let you know that I'm dropping it. But for a little while, I will be watching SAO Alicization and seeing where this leads. See where this rabbit hole goes. I'm intrigued. This is, this is tech and stuff that I'm extremely interested in. Um, how, do I, how do I put this? I believe wholeheartedly in something that, that I and some others refer to as the acceleration. Uh, humanity is on an accelerating timeline, and with every technological improvement that we make, we start moving a little bit faster, because that piece of tech can be integrated and combined in a balanced fashion with another piece of tech. Um, and then their combination can be integrated and combined with another piece of tech. We never know what those combinations will be until the pieces are all there and someone figures it out. But uh, once there is the advent of, of the BMI, the brain machine interface, everything changes. I, I mean, there are a number of ways it can go. It can go uh, AGI, artificial generalized intelligence or general intelligence. Um, and then that's, that's probably the most dangerous path. The second way it can go is uploading. If we can figure out how to copy and digitize consciousness, then that's probably the best path. Uh, still very scary because it is functionally an AGI, but it's got human base. So it's got some basis in, in human ideals. And then the third path would be just uh, like sort of cyborg type path where we remain in meat space. This is meat space. This is this is meat space. Um, the other two lead to destruction of meat space or reconfiguration of meat space. Uh, because at the point where there is either AGI or uploaded consciousness, there is no reason to keep all of the dumb matter in first the solar system, then the rest of the universe. There's no reason to keep it around. It's it's worthless. Um, effectively, because it has no computing power. Uh, so then we would we would systematically reconfigure all of the physical mass in first the solar system, then the universe. We start with probably the uh, the inner planets and and asteroids, and reconfigure them into processing power, process compute chips. Uh, a network of them, and solar power them, and uh, place them around the sun in what's called a, a Dyson sphere or a, uh, a Matryoshka shell. So shell upon shell upon shell of uh, nanocomputing, self-contained nanocomputing chips, each solar powered and linked to each other would be ideal because then we could uh, capture all energy from the sun and use that to build a, a hyperprocessor that would hold consciousness. Um, that's, that's the future as far as I'm concerned. Like that's set in stone. There, if, we don't nuke, if we don't nuke ourselves out of, a, out of existence, that is where we're heading, period. There's just like, there's no other path. Um, Meat space is, is worthless.
but we're accelerating. So, so it sounds like super far future stuff, but it's not necessarily super far future stuff because as soon as either AGI or an uploaded consciousness exists, it is running at uh, the, the processing power of all computers in the world, essentially. And so it's able to, it, it, it is God, as far as we're concerned. It's, it's an, a being so incredibly powerful and fast and linked to so many things that that we cannot even comprehend it uh, and cannot comprehend how fast it can come up with new ideas. Lots of ways for this to go wrong though, lots of ways. But anyway, that's, that's like personal, personal philosophy, personal belief stuff. Um, you could almost call it a religion of sorts, but I believe it's coming eventually but faster than we think. Again, assuming we don't nuke ourselves into oblivion or succumb to climate change or any number of other possibilities that eliminate us before we can ascend to that level. Um, I think we'll get there. I think so. I think it's, it's predetermined almost. This stuff interests me. I doubt this show will go that, that deep on it, but it's got some interesting stuff there, and so I'm going to keep watching it. All right, I'm going to wrap, out, wrap it up. I've been Booth. This has been SAO Alicization, the two-part pilot. It's actually one part, but, you know, two-part length pilot. It was pretty good. I hope you've enjoyed it as much or more than I have, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Peace. Oh, by the way, the... Uh, if you're seeing this, the next one will be up on the Patreon, which is a thing. So check that out. Peace.